गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे माय टॉपिक इज रिलेटेड स्पोर्ट्स एंड न्यूट्रिशन रिवाइज टॉपिक्स दीज आर रिवाइज टॉपिक्स दीज आर न्यू नॉट न्यू चैप्टर्स एंड न्यू चैप्टर्स लेफ्ट थ्री चैप्टर्स टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व किंसोलॉजी एंड बायोमैकेनिक एंड स्पोर्ट्स psychology and sports training in sports the three topic is left in my syllabus uh today the revise uh, is the last day uh, for the revise monday se uh, tuesday se jo hai naya topic start hoga or uh, sports and nutrition what is the nutrition Uh, मैं कोशिश करता हूं कि uh, जो हमारा छूट गया है उसे एक बार फिर रिवाइज कर ले उस पर नजर डाले कुछ रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन मैं आपको दूं उससे तो न्यूट्रिशन को हम बात करते हैं व्हाट इज न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग और ऑप्टेनिंग द फूड नेसेसरी फॉर हेल्थ एंड द ग्रोथ nutrition is the science that interpret the interactions of nutrient nutrients and other substances in food in the relations to maintain growth reproduction health and disease of the an organism it included food intake absorption assimilation uh catabolism and ex excretions there is a large number of the nutrients required in other balanced diet the sum of them are nutrient component like carbohydrate fat proteins we have some of the other components of diet are also required which are non nutritive components such as vitamins minerals water and the fish the fish is like that the fibers a some food give the fibers like that watermelons mango banana pineapple mosmi like that foods give the fibers rafis in our bodies every individual in the world want to lead a healthy life food is the main basic for the maintaining health so the knowledge of the food and nutrition is the essential for every individual generally food and the nutrition are considered uh synonyms with one another when actually it is not so in fact food come presses all those substances that human being consume for their survival food is a mixture of various substances which are the essentials for life whereas nutrition is the dynamic process which compresses consumptions of food to main healthy in fact nutrition is essentially the process of the nursing nursing for or being nourished the process by which is a living organism a fine millets food and rules it for growth and replacement of tissue is called nutrition
Nutrition is defined as the science of food and its relationship with the health. In other words, it can be said that nutrition is the science of food which compresses the dynamic process in which the consumed food is the digested nutrient are absorbed and distributed to the tissue for the utilization and waste are disposed of the body. Nutrients is the two types macronutrient and micronutrients. Macro bada part micro small part. Macro is the size of the big in the nutrients and micro is the size of the nutrient is the small. Macronutrients Macronutrients constitute the majority of the stewed diet, indigenous diet. It can be said that they are the taken in the large amount. The supply energy and are needed for growth and the maintenance of the body. They include carbohydrate, proteins, fat and water. These are macronutrients. Macronutrients, uh, the four type is the macronutrients and micronutrient, micronutrients is the two types and many part of in the in a two types is macronutrients macronutrients is the four part carbohydrate protein fat water what is the carbohydrate carbohydrate uh, take by the some food like that the wheat and uh, potato in, in fruit, in vegetable, and carbohydrate in the mango, banana, come from the food and vegetables and roti, like that is the carbohydrate. Carbohydrate are the most important source of energies. They contain the elements of the carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. The very first part of the name carbo means that they contains carbon. The second part of the name of the hydro, hydro means that they contain hydrogen. The third part of the name eight, eight means that they contains oxygen in all carbohydrates the ratio of hydrogen atom to oxygen atom is a 2 and 1 just like the water as two carbohydrates are actually the organic compounds that are important for different digestive operations in our body there are a the lot of the difference between carbohydrate and the other elements important for nutrition such as the protein and fat. Generally, it is a seen that a diet rich in the carbohydrate need less amount of the water in the compression to diet rich in the protein and fat. There are two main types of the carbohydrate, simple carbohydrate and complex carbohydrate, glucose, fructose, galactose and sucrose, these are the carbohydrate part. Sucrose, maltose and lactose are the called simple carbohydrate. These carbohydrates are the soluble in the water, these are the crystalline, there are the sweet in the test and are called sugar starch, dextrins, glycosins and cellulose are called complex carbohydrate. 
there are the not sweet in the taste they are insoluble in waters they are not the crystalline the main difference between the type of the carbohydrate is actually the difference between their the chemical compositions simple carbohydrate have a smaller chain of the chemical compositions in the compressions to the complex one this is a carbohydrate in protein contain carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sometimes sulfur protein are very large mo molecule so they cannot be direct absorbed into in our blood so they are the term into the amino acid by our digestive system they are 23 amino acids out of these nine amino acid must be available in the diet these amino acids are used by the body for create blood muscles nails skin hair and tissues in internal organs protein uh, protein form new tissues repair the broken tissues regulate balance of water and adds acids transport oxygen and the nutrition and make antibodies ex excessive use of the protein in diet especially animal protein animal proteins can result in the heart disease osteoporosis stock and kidney stones body required only 0.36 gram of the protein per pound of the ideal body weight it protein are not taken in the appropriate amount in the diet then we uh, may suffer from the deficiency disease marbus and the clauskers are protein deficiency disease in the children third point is a fat fat is a very necessary for our body fat will come in my uh, our body from the vegetable 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 uh, fat and animal fat fat contain carbon oxygen and the hydrogens in the percentage of the 76 12 and 12 uh, re, re, uh, respective fat are necessary for the many body functions fat keep us warm and protect our organs fat also help productions of the nervous fat can be classified according in their structures different type of fat have different categories and they react in the different way inside the body there are three different group of fat in their diet that is the saturated fat polysaturated fat and mono unsaturated fats the intake of saturated fat increase the chance of heart disease due to the increase over cholesterol in the blood such fats are the found in fat foods pastries and the biscuits the polyunsaturated fat and mono unsaturated fat help in the lowering the blood cholesterol unsaturated fat and mono unsaturated fat help in the lowering the uh, the polyunsaturated fat are fat are slightly better and mono unsaturated fat fat are the essential in the diet but the quantity of intake should be limited water water is a 
macronutrients water is a compound which is the made up of the hydrogen and oxygen elements in the ratio of 2.5 to ratio 1 our blood also contain 90% of the water water help in the transportation of the nutrient to the cells of body it is also important for the excretions of our waste product it also regulate the body temperature it is vital for various chemical reactions taking place in our body it is essential for the body metabolism next point is the micronutrients micronutrients is a very small uh, according to the macro in a micronutrients minerals and vitamins are the includes in the micronutrients micronutrients are the required in every small amount these nutrient are extremely significant these nutrient are for normal functioning of the body the main function of these nutrient is to enable various good chemicals reactions to occur in the body minerals are further divided into two categories namely macro minerals and micro minerals are tract minerals the explanations uh, the two types is a mineral and vitamins minerals nutrient and vitamin nutrients mineral nutrients like that the macro minerals and micro minerals there are the two types macro minerals and micro minerals vitamin is the two types fat soluble vitamin and water soluble vitamins first it now mac uh, minerals first minerals minerals are essential in our body um, uh, about 4% of our body weight is made of the minerals vitamins are required for the healthy teeth bones and muscles minerals are also used by the body for various activities such as the transmissions of nerve impulse formations for hormones maintains and the heartbeat etc are also used body by body for the various activities such as the transmissions of the nerve impulse formation for a uh, hormonal hormone hormones maintain of the heartbeat etc minerals can be the classified into macro major minerals and micro elements or tract minerals our body require more amount of the macro minerals than tract minerals macro minerals also macro minerals are uh, micro elements such as as calcium phosphorus sodium chlorines magnesium potassium and sulfur are required by our body in more amount 0.1 gram of each of these minerals per day on the other hand track elements or micro minerals such as the copper iron iodine cobalt fluorides chromium selenium and zinc are the required in the less amount 0.01 g of each track element per day uh macro minerals and micro minerals the two types of minerals macro is a big size of the minerals micro is very small size and the calcium potassium sodium and magnesium and phosphorus is a macro minerals and micro minerals iodine iron chromium chromium copper and cobalt next is the vitamins what are the vitamins vitamin is are the chemical this is a chemical of the vitamins which are required in very small amount to keep our body healthy 
it is a particular vitamin is not present in our diet it is may cause a deficiency disease for example if vitamin c is not include in diet it will be cause scurvy in fact all the vitamin are organic chemicals they are the two group of the vitamin which are the mentioned below in this book fat soluble vitamin and the water soluble vitamin fat fat soluble vitamin jo fat mein mil jate hain aur water soluble vitamin jo water mein mil jate hain like uh, let's see fat soluble vitamin are those vitamin which are the soluble in fat and these vitamin are compound of the element of the carbon hydrogen oxygen these vitamins are vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin c vitamin k and brief descriptions in this vitamin is given below uh jo descriptions hai fat vitamin ka like that the vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k uh, book pe par dekh lijiye ye cheeze kahan se milti hain like that the vitamin a come from uh, its source are cod liver animal liver egg your milk milk productions mango papaya yellow vegetable it is daily requirement in the approximately 2 grams 2 mg vitamin a jo hai aapko in cheezon se milta hai jaise ki papaya lot kiwis and vegetable uh, milk productions mango papaya and yellow vegetables vitamin d kahan se aapko milta hai vitamin d is come from the um, source is a milk butter fish liver oil are the main source of this vitamins vitamin d vitamin d come from a, a source is the main source of the sunlight and vitamin e vitamin e uh, source are green leaf vegetable pulp liver egg and whole cereals vitamin k source is the कॉलीफ्लावर वीट एग एंड मीट फिश कैबेज सोयाबीन स्पिंच स्पिंच पोटैटो टमाटो इज द विटामिन के सोर्सेज वाटर सोलिबल विटामिन दिज विटामिन आर इन द वाटर दिज विटामिन आर सोलेबल इन द वाटर दिज विटामिन कंटेन द एलिमेंट फॉर द नाइट्रोजन एंड इवन सल्फर दिज विटामिन सोर्सेज इज vegetables and and any other parts water soluble vitamin is a vitamin b complex and vitamin c and vitamin b ke bhi bahut sare forms hain iske jo types hain vitamin b1 vitamin b2 vitamin b3 vitamin b6 vitamin b5 vitamin b12 vitamin b9 and vitamin b7 vitamin b is sources is a vitamin b1 sources is a uh this vitamin also called thiamine this is a colorless vitamin it is test is a salty and small is the just like is the yeast iski tarah hi lagta hai khane mein thoda namkeen hota hai aur colorless hota hai vitamin b1 it ye vitamin jo hai kis kis cheezon ko part ko help karta hai it help in the metabolism carbohydrate it maintain the health of liver kidney nervous systems muscles brain stomach intestine ये इन चीजों की आ, को ग्रोथ करता है जब हम इसे खाते हैं इसको लेते हैं जब हम लोग लिक्विड की फॉर्म में या फिर खाने की फॉर्म में तो इसको हमारी इन पार्ट्स को जो है जो बॉडी के पार्ट्स हैं इनको इनकी ग्रोथ में हेल्प करता है इट आल्सो मेंटेन द हेल्प एंड एफिशिएंसी इज नर्व एंड मसल्स विटामिन बी बी की वजह से क्या प्रॉब्लम आ सकती है 
किस तरह की जो है बीमारी आपको डिजीज हो सकती है जैसे बैरी बैरी रोग ठीक है एंड इट इज डेफिनेसी मे बी कॉज कॉन्स्टिपेशन इजिटेशन एंड एंगल्स डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी स्टॉप इट वॉज इज एनी स्टोटेज ऑफ द विटामिन बी वन विटामिन बी थ्री बी थ्री का जो साइंटिफिक नेम इज द राइबोफ्लेमिन तो दिस विटामिन इज अ येल्लो कलर विटामिन बी टू राइबो फ्लेविंग इज अ येल्लो कलर एंड हेल्प इन अवर हेल्प इट इज अल्प इन दर्सर्विंग इन द मेंटेनिंग द टाइटनेस स्मूथनेस ऑफ द स्किन एक्टिविटी हेल्थ ऑफ बॉडी टिश्यूज एंड कीप द आईज नोज माउथ लिप एंड टंग इट इज असेंशियल टू कीप द आईज नोज माउथ लिप एंड टंग इन देल्दी स्टेट ओके इसकी वजह से क्या डिजीज आपको हो सकती है इट डेफिशियंसी ऑफ द डिजीज इम्यूनिटी पावर ऑफ विथ व्हाइट ब्लड कार्पलस की कमी आपको बॉडी में हो सकती है ठीक है एंड बी थ्री जो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट है इसका विटामिन बी कॉम्प्लेक्स में बी थ्री को हम साइंटिफिक नेम इज नाइचीन नाइचीन हेल्प इन द ग्रोथ अवर बॉडी एंड दे डेफिशियंसी ऑफ दीज विटामिन कॉज ग्रे हेयर विटामिन बी फाइव द पैंथोनिक एसिड्स पैंथोनिक साइंटिफिक नेम इज पैंथोनिक और B5 की वजह से जो है जो प्रॉब्लम है वो है इम्यून सिस्टम वीक होना बॉडी में ग्रोथ ना हो पाना B5 फाइव एंड देर आर द मैनी विटामिन इन यवर बुक और समटाइम्स विल क्वेश्चन विल कम इन द रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक विटामिन सी वट इज द विटामिन सी विटामिन बी वट इज द माइक्रो न्यूट्रेंट वट इज द माइक्रो न्यूट्रेंट वट इज द सोलेबल विटामिन वॉट इज वॉट इज सोलेबल विटामिन वॉट इज द वॉटर सोलेबल विटामिन वॉट इज द फैट सोलेबल विटामिन समटाइम दिस क्वेश्चन इनकम इन द टू एंड थ्री मार्क्स सो आप लोग इसको जो है प्रॉपर तरीके से पढ़ें चैप्टर नंबर टू को स्पोर्ट्स एंड न्यूट्रिशन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है एग्जाम की वजह से मैं अपना टॉपिक जो है आज यहीं भी ब्रेक करता हूँ और आप लोग इसके रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन मैं आपको दूंगा फोर एंड फाइव आप भी कॉपी में करेंगे और तैयार रहिए स्कूल खुलने वाले हैं दो दो नवंबर टू नवंबर को जो है आप लोग स्कूल में आ सकते हैं लेकिन आपको एक फॉर्म दिया था मैडम ने आपको बताया था कि इससे बढ़ना है और आपको स्कूल की जो भी जिम्मेदारी होगी आपकी उसमें खुद की जिम्मेदारी होगी पर लेकिन आप लोग जो है ऑनलाइन ही पढ़ते रहिए ऑफलाइन ही पढ़ते रहिए दोनों तरफ से हम लोग जो है कोशिश करेंगे आपको पढ़ाने की सिलेबस हमारा जो है एट्टी परसेंट हो चुका है ट्वेंटी परसेंट हमारा है स्कूल नहीं खुले तब भी हमारा सिलेबस कंप्लीट हुआ और स्कूल खुलेंगे तब भी हम उसको कंप्लीट करते हैं तो आप लोग जो है तैयार रहिए अलर्ट रहिए और पढ़ाई पे ध्यान दीजिए मास्क जरूर लगा के आइए बॉडी बॉडी में जर्म ना हो कपड़ों में जर्म ना हो जब बाहर से आते हैं तो आप लोग उसको वॉश कीजिए बाहर ही छोड़ दीजिए कपड़ों को हाथों को प्रॉपर तरीके से सैनिटाइज करते रहिए सॉप वगैरह से करते रहिए आपका जो कहीं तरीके जो है वो कहीं ओके स्टूडेंट टूडे माई टॉपिक इज कम्प्लीट रिलेटेड टू न्यूट्रिशन एंड स्पोर्ट्स और कंप्लीट योर असाइनमेंट आई विल चेक इन द क्लास थैंक यू वेरी मच गॉड ब्लेसिंग